In this Reactor Blocks patch tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a voice that's going to have a filter cutoff being modulated by an LFO, and the LFO's frequency is going to be modulated by an envelope to create a dynamically changing modulation effect. So let's see how to do this. We're going to start from scratch, so a file new ensemble. I close the panel view so we can work in the patching mode. Let's delete these inputs as we will not be needing them. Now in the library, Let's go into the bento box and load in the oscillator. We will also need a filter, a VCA, so with these three elements we can create the basic voice. I'll just take the sawtooth output and plug it into the input on the filter and let's just take the low pass output on the filter and plug that into the VCA. And finally, the VCA output can go to the main reactor outputs. Now we need to be able to play this with the keyboard, so let's bring in the note in module. I'll connect the pitch to the pitch input on the oscillator and the gate output to the mod A on the VCA. So that gate is going to control the amplitude of the sound. All right, I'm going to order these modules so we have the main audio signal path on the top row. I click on A here and click and drag here to set the depth of modulation. So now every time I play a note, the volume jumps up to this value here. The filter also should work. We can play around with the filter cutoff and resonance. All right, so now let's bring in the modulation. So I load in an LFO first. We'll take the output of this LFO and plug it into the FM input on the filter. On the panel, let's crank up the FM amount over here. And now if I speed up that LFO, you can hear the filter cutoff being modulated by that LFO. Now we want this LFO to be further modulated by an envelope. So let's bring in an envelope. I'll take the output of the envelope and plug that into the mod A input on the LFO. Now the envelope needs to be triggered or it won't work, so I'll take the gate output from the note in and plug that into the gate input on the envelope. Now on the panel, let's bring the sustain all the way down on this envelope and increase the decay. So we get a pluck shape envelope. Now on the LFO, on the mod A section here, you can see the signal coming in here as that light is pulsating. So if I click here, and then I click and drag here on the frequency of the LFO. Now that envelope is going to modulate the frequency of the LFO. You can set the modulation depth to your taste and of course fine tune the parameters on the envelope. We can try a sawtooth shape LFO. So we get this progressively slowing down pluck effect. All right, so I'll save this preset. Put in some of those keywords in there, so it should be easy to find. All right, so that's the patch. Hope that was helpful. Stay tuned for more Reactor Blocks patching.